When I think about relationships, I smile because people only view them as romantic. When I'm asked if I'm in a relationship, I almost immediately giggle because I know the person asking is waiting to see if I have a boyfriend. But when you truly think about it, relationships are all we have. Whether with your partner, your mother, your child, your spouse, your trash man, your kindergarten teacher, whether it's a hand and bad relationship or a no contact relationship, once two people are introduced, you have a relationship forever. Hey you guys, I'm Gloria, AKA Glow. Thank you for tuning in to Gorgeous Glow Weekly. Born and raised in Virginia, I'm a 2019 college graduate who loves to have fun, go exciting places, and throw some amazing events. But ever since the 2020 pandemic, my social life has stopped. So what do I do now? Visit my channel where I invite you on a virtual party bus into my weekly personal life as my work continues as a healthcare provider during COVID-19. Writing screenplays for fun and opening my first of many residential facilities for adults and children with disabilities, all while quarantined. On this channel, or as I like to call it, the Wind Down Wednesday Party Bus, I also share and discuss things like my spirituality, my natural hair journey, and my favorite topic of all, relationships. All from your new favorite Gemini. Jump on a party bus by subscribing to my channel, then grab your weed, wine, water, and let's kick some bullshit. Hey you guys, welcome back to Gorgeous Glow Weekly Wind Down Wednesday Playlist. I am Gloria aka Glow, here to help you get through this beautiful hump day Wednesday. Um, I just came back inside from running some errands and y'all, I can tell it's getting warmer outside because the men folks are outside. It's going to be a beautiful summer. So I just wanted to do this video because lately I've been thinking about hoeing <laughs> and if I want to go back to it. And also I've been thinking about having a husband and what my life would be like and which one will make me happier. When I think about what men want, the answer I always come up with is a bad bitch with money they can fuck. How do you know your coochie is good when you can't? I know it's good. But I'm saying when you can't handle it yourself, that you, to know something's good, you have to actually know it and try it. Yeah, cause you- So as a woman, I don't know how can you know you have something good when you can't visit. From the tricks? The tricks told me. That's how I know it's good. I'm not self-proclaimed. When I think about hoeing and starting all these different relationships and handling all these personalities, especially when jealousy, like you're dealing with a jealous person and like especially when you get approached by men regularly or like even in the streets on social media, hoes have it hard, as do faithful women and men. Um, not that I have an issue with being faithful, I don't. I can and I have been faithful to just one person and satisfied to just one guy. But I am a two-faced Gemini and I see different perspectives. When I'm being entertained by a nice fellow, I flirt. It's my guilty pleasure. I'm a single woman and I love straight men. Not even straight. Bruh. I mean, I'm a straight woman and I love men, period. That's it. And that's all. I won't fuck, but I will flirt. But now that I'm single, I find the idea very, very intriguing. Previously, even before my 12-year relationship, I could have never been the type of female that have one-night stands, like with just some random from out of town or somewhere. I could have never done that. Like something about that just didn't sit right with me. Um, for example, if Chris Brown was in town. Chris Brown is from Virginia. If Chris Brown came to town 
and like I want some tickets or something to go see him. Um, I'm going in with the mindset that, you know, okay, I'm about to spend the day with Chris Brown. This should be fun. That's it, that's all. I don't <laughs> want to sleep with Chris Brown personally. Um, he cool as hell, can dance and sing his ass off. I just don't want to lay with him. And I imagine that he wouldn't want to lay with me. I'm a stranger. I'm a fan, but I'm a stranger at the end of the day. So, you know, he could take me to like the most beautiful places in the world, places I've never seen, never been in my entire life. And why, Dan, what have you, the works. I'm still gonna be like, you know, when the time is up, thank you, I enjoyed this experience. Appreciate you, bro. And I'm gonna go to my car. And he might look at me like, this chick is crazy, like, because he's used to women throwing themselves at him on a regular. But that was, you know, the old me. Now, I don't know. One night stand ain't looking too bad. I can see some of the benefits. And I'm not talking about financial benefits. I'm not talking about an opportunity. I'm talking about sexual gain. Chris Brown, that would do you know how disappointing it would be if Chris Brown could not lay that pipe like all that dancing he do, all that and he get in the bedroom to be chill. I digress. The word hoe has been slandered and disgraced. And I want to set the record straight about this. Maybe I'll do a versus battle about it. A hoe don't want nothing from you except your private parts. If you get invited somewhere where some hoes gonna be there, more than likely you gonna go because of the possibility that you gonna hunch on somebody. The party is jumping. People are laughing, dancing, conversations are going everywhere. The music good. The vibes are good. Whatever the holes are, you know why? It's all love. The holes are tipsy and flirting. You think this hole about to bring up some money right now? If they do, That's a gold digger. That's a turn off to a real whore. It's so disrespectful. Don't mention me giving you no money. You giving me no money. It's an insult to a real whore. These so-called hoes out here are messing the game up, bro. Like you not for real about their whole life, so stop playing. You a gold digging. Ain't no hole. We bred different. That's why men love holes. They're fun. They're free. They just don't give a fuck. Gold diggers, they want your money. I ain't clap, sit down on my lap, make her bring it back. Bet that ass that I might crash that, smash that. It's the birthday, she got the cake, she got the cake. She gon' stick her tongue out for a taste. For a Let me just say this. Hey you guys, happy 2022. You're watching Girls of Love Weekly on YouTube. If you have time, subscribe now, share with your friends and followers. We are all on this party bus together. I'm adding another great series to my YouTube playlist outside of my work in healthcare and writing, and it's called Verses, and it's gonna be really fun, really exciting, so be sure to stop by and interact with your girl. Your Wednesdays just got better. A hoe is going to hunch for one or two reasons. One, because I want to hunch you and you want to hunch me. Okay? Boom. Two, 
you want the hunch on me and I'm with it. You know, it has to be mutual. It has to be mutual. A whole go hunch because a whole want to hunch. You know what I'm saying? Should I say it louder for the people in the back? A hoe is going to hunch because a hoe want to hunch. That's it and that's all. They don't want nothing else. That's the difference. Money? Who said something about some money? It's some broke bitches in here. Uh-uh, I'm putting my clothes back on. Gold diggers want someone to give them opportunities. A hoe just want to hunch. And I'm not carrying it like that off no free tickets to see Chris Brown. You know, it don't matter who it is. Kanye West, Bill Gates, I heard he's single again. Jay-Z, my nigga, can see me in a hotel he's staying at and ask me to come to his room. I'm going to say, for what? It's B down there. Because I'm going to tell her you're trying to hunch on me, Jigga Man, and we're going to jump your ass. If the transgressions have been on her side, mm -hmm. do you think you would be able to be as forgiving of her as she was of you? I hope. Uh, again, because I love her the same way. No matter no matter what side, I love her the same way. Even real hoes ain't hoes 24-7. And it's the difference between that too, being a hoe and hoeing. When you hoeing, you out here looking for it 24-7. A hoe, what's so good about being a hoe is what's led up what has anticipated from us going from strangers to land all within 24 hours. You know what I'm saying? Now, if Chris would have said something like, give me some pussy on that same little trip, spend a day with him off that same free ticket, I would have told Chris, what you wanna fuck? You wanna hunch on me, Chris? Now, is that hoeing or being a hoe? Come on, this is a lesson. A comment right now below. Was that hoe is that hoe or being a hoe? And come back and play. Y'all done commented. That's called being a hoe. I won't hoe if I was hoeing. If I was hoeing, say like if it was 10 other chicks that won the same ticket as well. It's like all 10 of us, 11, 12, whatever, however many of us won the same trip to spend a day with him. If I was hoeing. I'd be the first one with my titties at. I'd be the first one. I had Chris in love with me in three days. Meat meal. What? Scared money don't make no money. If I ever go broke, I'm going to take your money, meat meal. Who? Who's your husband? If you out there, I'm going to need a pass. I'm going to need a pass because if I ever had the chance to meet meat meal and he wanted to hunch on me, Girl, I need a pass. I need a pass with me. Me can have all my Lucy. Riding in my old school, but I'm in my new shit. Girl. I don't need no money, no shout out, no nothing. See my dreams unfold, nightmares come true. It was time to marry the game and I said, yeah, I do. If you want it, you gotta see it with a clear eye view. Some dudes, when you hear them say nasty stuff, you just want to punch them in the face. Like, don't disrespect me ever like that again in your life. But Meek Mill, girl, Meek Mill can tell me the nastiest. Ooh, he can tell me the and I'd be like, pull it out, pull it out, pull it out, baby, let me see it. Ooh, let me see it. Mm. I've never had sex for money. Like, if if we done laid and, and you pulling out some money and handing it to me, I want to fight. Because why? What are you talking about? What are, what, what, what are you doing right now? i never had sex with money. And I know before some of you guys get in the comments be like, oh, she a liar. I know she done went on a date and a dude paid. But okay, yeah, so what? That's called being in a relationship. I paid for some dinners too. No, I got it. I got it. All right, then. Have it. <laughs> if I were to hold though, I would want it to benefit me sexually. <laughs> 
I want to come. And that's the thing. Like, I don't always come in relationships. And that's cool because the hunch itself be so good that I don't even need to come all the time. Nowadays, it seems like guys be coming so fast before you can even show them that your mama made a hug. You can just be getting into it. And here he go. I wish I could just hunch without coming. I mean, the nut is good, but it ain't always the goal for me. The hunch just be so good. It's like, I'm so satisfied with just the hunch. You know, just keep, keep hunching. But if I was the hoe, like really be out here hoeing, not for the money or acknowledgement, but pure satisfaction. So tempting. <laughs> a businesswoman and a hoe, their title's different, but their job descriptions are kind of similar. A businesswoman is here for her paper. But a hoe is here for the fun. I wanna do both. How can we merge the two? <laughs> Let's talk about it. To hoe or not to hoe? That's it for this video, you guys. Um, thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Um, be sure to run every episode of the Wind Down Wednesday videos back. Catch up on um, all the episodes. Leave some topic discussions if you want. Um, I'll see you guys in the comments. I'm a single woman. I enjoy and I love single. Well, I ain't gonna say single, but straight men. Not even straight, but I love men. I'm a single woman and I love. Why well, I keep saying single? That's what being a hoe is all about. It was some fine brothers and some fine brothers from other mothers outside today. I said, oh, let me go pick me some makeup on, sure.